All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at Janembu. Um, I think Janembu is probably the character in this batch, Um, like, you know, of, what, of 12 EZAs or whatever. I think Janembu is probably, I don't want to call him outright the best, because, like, Trunks and Goten are good, and they're definitely better. Um, but, like, I feel like this is the unit that, like, fulfills the best need is, like, sort of, like, in the correct spot, right? Like, Trunks and Goten, as strong as they are, they're, they're still a wonky fit for their teams, but I feel like they're so strong now you could de like, definitely find spots for them on Boo Saga and a lot of these teams, right? Janembu, um, I feel like if I called him one of the best units in the game, it actually is applicable. Um, so this is the second one of these Fusions EZAs I'm looking at. I think that these Fusions EZAs might actually be really quite good. Um, so Janembu is doing a lot. Um, he stacks defense. Um, in his passive, he... Okay, so 120% attack and defense start a turn. Another 60% attack and defense with each, each extreme class ally in the same turn. 30% chance to dodge. He guards uh, after a one dodge. He recovers 13% HP at the end of the turn in which he's hit. And he lowers attack to enemies' attack by 33%. Um, he's just doing too much. Like, he's... This is a character that's... Healing, guarding, dodging, stacking, like, uh, he and debuffing. He's insane. Janembu is ridiculous. Um, you look at the teams he's on. Fusion, Transformation Boost, Majin, Power, and Crossover. Why is that relevant? Because we take a look at this right here. Janembu and Kid Buu work very well together. So here would be turn one. You know, we can rock Janembu with Kid Buu. We have Majin, Brutal Beatdown, and Infinite Regeneration activated. Majin is giving two key 15% attack and defense. Infinite Generation, 2 key, 3% HP, and then 10% defense. Um, take a look that Janembu is at 240k defense immediately. And he guards, he dodges, he's got all that shit. Like, Janembu is ridiculous. He is beyond belief. I do want to do this right here. Um, we don't necessarily need to see him hit, um, at least for this turn, because I just want to show him linked with Kid Buu. Um, well, I guess... Ah, damn it, because I, I, I want to keep Garlic Jr. I'm, I'm going to keep this this right here just like this, just because I want to see um the next rotation. I want to keep Garlic Jr. here. But we're going to be able to rock um, Janembu and Kid Buu together. Kid Buu is legitimately one of the best units in the game, legitimately one of the best Dokkan Fests in the game. Um, he's one of the strongest DRs in the game. This Kid Buu is really ridiculous. Um, but he just needs help on like the Majin Power Team, Transformation Boost categories like this. This Janembu fulfills that role. It is actually, like, insane to me that this same batch of characters, we get Tech Superbu, who sucks cock, and then Janembu, who, again, is one of the best units in the game. Three million, while healing, guarding, dodging, debuffing. <laughs> Janembu is ridiculous. And remember, he's stacking his defense, right? So every single turn, he's getting better defensively. Um, he's stacking defense. His damage... Him at the 3 million damage right there with everything else he's doing is, like, actually really impressive to me. Um, like, I, 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 I hope people can see how crazy, like, how ridiculous, how stupid Janembu is. Um, my only hesitation in, like, really slurping Janembu is just the, the, the one sort of downside is that his dodge is a uh, medium chance, a 30% chance, right? So let's examine if we would go into, say, Majin Power Extreme Super Battle Road, which is going to be a bitch in the future when it gets it. Um, we go into that stage, right? And it's like, you know, right away, Janembu's got good, like, his defense should be solid, but, you know, not probably not for that stage. So you're going to want the guard to be active, but, you know, you need to get a dodge off the guard. Like, it, it's... It, if Janembu dodges the first attack aimed at him, like, you're absolutely in a, in a beautiful spot. Like, you are ab absolutely cooking. Um, but, like, you know, if you could have difficulties with the dodge and he doesn't get guard off, and then maybe he gets, you know, super attack type disadvantage and stuff like that, um, he certainly uh, could be in a bit of trouble here. So, all right, so here we go. Um, Janembu at 350k defense on his second turn um, with, what, Three links active. Majin, Brutal, Beatdown, and Infinite Regeneration. Uh, again, he's dodging, guarding, healing, debuffing. Uh, he's doing it all. 
This unit is ridiculous. This this is what I want from these EZA units. There's no reason they cannot do that. All right, now he guards. Um, that's all it takes. That first dodge, boom. He's guarding the rest of the turn. Um, now, a, a lot of people uh, will know that I routinely talk about how much I dislike when a character, like, doesn't just start the turn out with guard, right? Like, when you've got, like, a medium chance to guard or a high chance to guard or some shit like that. People know how bad that is. The difference between Janembu and those types of characters, right, is that if, l let's say you are using um, uh, the, the tech Android 16, right? Um, you go into a turn and his guard does not activate, Every single attack he takes that turn, the guard will not activate, and he gets absolutely just just walloped out of the out of the fight, right? But what happens with Janembu is his guard it's up as soon as he dodges. So it's like just because the first attack you don't dodge and then you're not guarding, it doesn't mean you're not going to get it. That's why those chance to guard characters suck ass, is because if you don't have it and you go into the turn, you don't have it the entire turn. And these characters are typically defensive units that then, without guarding, will not be able to defend. So it just becomes a major catastrophic L, basically, is what happens. Okay. <laughs> 461k defense right here. We could get Shattering Limit activated, but, like, I kind of... I just want to put him in front, because this is a defensive unit, first and foremost, right? Like, look at this. Dude, like, he's not... He, 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 like, he's stacking defense. Like, th this is <clears throat> going to be a unit you can act like a point unit. A, a slot one unit will be able to rock on these teams. Majin power and stuff like that. Like, it, it's it's pretty nuts. I I think Janembu is actually, again, one of the best units in the game. Um, like, unironically, like, seriously, dead ass. Like, uh, you know, that's it. Um, my Janembu, I gave full dodge. Um, I believe my Janembu has 26 dodge, I believe, is what he has. Um, so what that means is, <clears throat> you know, like my personal Janembu, you know, once his EZA comes out and I'm able to EZA him, um, I'm gonna have two separate procs to dodge. Um, that's the way these types of characters work, right? Um, is when <clears throat> Janembu has his 30% chance to dodge at the start of turn, and then you give him dodge from his center potential system, you have two separate procs that could either activate or not activate. Um, but I want to give Janembu full dodge. I feel like that would be ideal. Because, again, Janembu is a defensive unit. You know, you could say, I'm going to give him additional so he could sack defense more or crit so he could do more damage or blah, 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 whatever. Dude, y'all do you. That's fine. For me, I'm looking at this guy as a defensive unit. In long events, he's going to be invincible anyway. Doesn't matter, right? Like, like what's going on? I'm thinking about Janembu in short events, right? In short events, maximizing his dodge really helps. Because, again, unlike, you know, any other character in the game who gets, like, a three dodge, it's like, yay, we got a three dodge, right? Remember, Janembu gets dodge, and then he's not really taking damage the rest of the turn, right? So it's like, it, it really, really, really helps him out. Um, and, again, this is a character you probably are going to be running in slot one, um, so, Janembu also has this attacked enemies, attack minus 33%, um, when he hits them. That, that's from his passive, so that means that would activate for one turn. Typically, those types of abilities aren't really that good, um, because it's just, like, it's, like, a lot of these characters that have that are characters you would run in, like, slot three, right? So, it's, like, all that's really doing is protecting themselves, but for Janembu, he is going to be a slot one character that you're going to be u utilizing him as, right? So Janembu with this, um, he's going to be able to debuff the enemy and then it's going to be able to help the entire rest of the rotation. So um, again, Janembu to me is looking ridiculous. Here is a 500k defense. Um, I think a rotation of Janembu in slot one and then STR Kidbu in slot two is devastating. I, Janembu is exactly what Kibu needed. Um, for transformation boost and Majin power, I think that's a really good setup. Um, is Janembu and uh, um, uh, STR Kidbu sort of together? Um, that is legitimately something I'm going to be doing. Like like difficult content. If you go into a long event with the two of them together, like it's it's just it's GG. Like it's uh, there's, uh, dude, uh, you're good. Like it's not nothing can be done. And like you know every. Imagine that rotation, right? 
Janembu, when he gets hit, recovers 13% each at the end of the turn. And then SCR Kidbu recovers 20% at the end of the turn. So at the end of the turn, you're going to be recovering 33% HP. And then at the start of the turn, remember they have infinite regeneration, so you're going to be recovering 6% HP. So they're almost going to be combining to recover 40% HP every single turn. Along with, you know, like insane level stats, right? Having their links activate and stuff like that. So uh, Janembu, again, legitimately is looking like one of the best units in the game. Um, it really helps that he is on Majin Power, a, a category just starving for help. And, at, like, we just got two amazing units added with SDR Kid Buu and then now this Janembu, right? So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.